This is an extraordinary culture, an extraordinary culture with an extraordinary contribution to mathematics, to the human experience, the Egyptians. Let's see now what they did in arithmetic. What was the achievement of this uh, culture? They used a decimal system for counting. They could perform basic arithmetic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Multiplication and division were typically done by doubling and halving the numbers. I will show you now an example, two examples, how the Egyptians multiplied two numbers. How did they multiply numbers? Keep in mind that they use multiplication by two and division by two and not using decimals. Suppose that we have 13 and we have 21. We are going to multiply 13 times 21. Okay, they're going to divide 13 by 2. Of course, it's a decimal number. They're going to use 6. 21, what they do with 21 is multiplying by 2. They get 42. And then they continue dividing by 2, the left column. They're going to have 3, and they continue multiplying by 2, the right column, 84. So, so far, the left column will be decreasing by half, and the second column, the right column, will be increasing by times 2. So, what is next is dividing 3 by 2. Of course, it's a decimal, but they don't use it. They're going to use 1, and 84 times 2, which is 168. And this is what is amazing now. They're going to pick only the odd numbers in the columns on the left column. Look at this. 13 is, is, is a odd number. 3 is an odd number. 1 is an odd number. And the number next to those odd numbers, 21, 84, and 68, are the ones they're going to add up. And they're going to get 273. It's amazing. It's amazing. We are talking about thousands of years ago.
Here we have two examples, the same example, but in different ways. 85 times 32, 32 times 85. Look at the method one, 85, they double 85, and they divide by two, 32. And notice that we don't have any odd number here. The only odd number is the last one, number one. So the number next to it is the answer, 2,720. Very interesting. The second method, they switch here the order, the commutative property, instead of 85 times 32, it will be 85 times, uh, 32 times 85. Notice here that the one that doubles is the first column, and the one that is divided by two, no using decimals, is the right column. Notice here that the odd numbers are 85, 21, 5, and 1, and you can add the numbers next to the odds, 32 plus 128 plus 512 plus 2048 will give you the same answer, 2720. You can prove this with a calculator. You can multiply, you can add 32 plus 128 because it's next to the odd number. Let me do it again. So it's 32 plus 32 plus 128 plus 512 plus 2048 and the answer is exactly the same 2720 which is the answer very interesting the way they perform multiplication the babylonians were a civilization that lived in mesopotamia in present-day iraq between the 18th and 6th centuries bce they were known for their impressive achievements in various fields, including mathematics. One of their most significant mathematical achievements was the development of a positional number system, which was based on the use of place value and allowed them to perform complex calculations. The Babylonian number system used a base 60 system, which allowed for the creation of a wide range of numerical symbols. They used a combination of symbols to represent numbers, with the value of each symbol determined by its position in the number. For example, the number 123 was represented by a symbol for 100, a symbol for 20, and a symbol for 3. The Babylonians also developed mathematical techniques for solving equations, including quadratic equations. They used a method known as completing the square to solve these equations, which involved adding and subtracting terms to both sides of the equation until it could be simplified into a perfect square. This method is still used today in modern algebra.